So how could a heart have developed by evolutionary processes? And this may explain why Fushianwea is the earliest animal known to have a blood circulatory system, as well as an organ to keep its blood moving, the first known traces of a very early heart. Oh, Fushianwea. So you found a fossil that you think is 500 million years old, and what? It has a circulatory system? It has a heart? Okay, so that doesn't tell me how a heart evolved. Now, the path that connects this ancient predator to you isn't a short, straight line. It's long, with lots of sidetracks that lead to other, more familiar organisms that also have hearts. It includes animals like slugs and snails, and insects and crustaceans, and the first vertebrates to walk on four legs. It took hundreds of millions of years and countless different iterations of the same basic structure to lead to the heart that you have today. Oh, so you're telling me that we find more organisms that have hearts. Okay, hmm, where's the evidence that a heart developed by natural processes? In order to understand where hearts came from, we have to go back to the earliest common ancestor of everything that has a heart. Now, we don't have a fossil of that ancestor, but we do have some proof of its existence. It's genes. We, and everything else that has a heart, carry some of the same genes that this organism had. Those genes are responsible for developing blood vessels that can contract to push blood around. And over time, an incredibly diverse group of animals has used this basic set of instructions to arrive at different solutions for circulating blood. Oh, okay. So we know that there was a common ancestor that had uh, some of the genes to make a heart. And how do we know that? Because all organisms who have a heart have some shared genes? Hmm. That is not evidence that a heart evolved, though. That is just an observation that we make about what is. So it could be just as much evidence that a common designer used some similar genes to make organisms that have different hearts. So I'm still waiting for evidence that a heart could develop by natural processes. Now, not all animals today have what we'd call a true heart, but some version of an organ for circulating blood has evolved in at least three major groups, the arthropods, the mollusks, and us vertebrates. Now you're telling me that not only one time did a heart develop by natural processes, but now I'm supposed to believe that three different times a heart developed by natural processes? Wow, this is starting to become extremely implausible. Okay, so throughout the entire video, I still don't see any evidence of the development of a heart. Well, what about if I look at some papers online? Well, there's quite a few papers that have been written on possible paths for the development of a heart, but these are extremely speculative. The truth is that we do not have evidence that hearts evolved. What we can t show you is what is now and what used to be in the past. And every time we find that organisms that have a circulatory system have a functioning circulatory system. So where's the gradual process by which uh, organs could take the time to develop over millions of years with mutation after mutation that happened to come together in a coordinated way to form not just a heart because a heart by itself doesn't do any good. Now there's a couple of different systems that hearts can use. There's an open system and there's a closed system and you know there's the a chambered heart and there's different types of different hearts with uh, different numbers of chambers. So not every system works the same, but if you think about the what is required in vertebrates, and uh, you, you, you've got to have, uh, for this chambered heart, you've got to have a circulatory system attached, right, that it has blood vessels, so you've got to evolve blood vessels that are capable of distributing blood throughout the system. You've got to have a way to capture the oxygen and put it in the blood. Oh, and the blood itself, you've got to evolve that too. And by the way, they say that blood has had to evolve separately seven times because there's so many different types of blood within organisms. So you can see how this becomes problematic when we think about this happening in a step-by-step -step process. It's time to start separating fact from fiction when it comes to these evolutionary stories of development. 
there is no scientific evidence that a complex organ like the heart and the circulatory system needed to go along with it developed by natural processes. All we have are observations of organisms that have a circulatory system. And that is not enough to assume that this process developed naturally, especially when the odds are completely stacked against it. Mm -hmm.